Hi everyone, what's up and welcome back to my fitness channel. Today's video is going to be a very realistic fitness vlog. I have been, you guys know if you've been watching my recent videos, I have not been the best like mentally recently. I just haven't been feeling like myself. I've been struggling to do just like the everyday stuff, right? And I want to slowly work on getting back to myself. I asked for some tips and like tricks and suggestions in my previous video and I got so many wonderful comments of people just like giving me some really good advice. And a lot of people said that the best thing to do is just take it day by day and don't force too much on myself. And I think that's like the biggest issue that I definitely did in the beginning was I was just telling myself like I need to do this long, long list of things every single day. And realistically, like I could barely get out of bed. So I was just kind of setting myself up for failure. And then when I didn't complete everything on my to-do list that I wanted to complete, I felt even worse about myself. So one of the biggest suggestions that you guys gave was to just take it slow and just do like at least one thing every day that makes me feel productive. So I'm trying that out. We'll see how it goes. I honestly... Woke up this morning and I don't feel that good physically. I'm like really hot right now. I should put my AC on. I don't know why though. So like I said, not too much is on the agenda today. I'm not gonna overwhelm myself. I have a little bit of work to do this morning and then I wanna go to Trader Joe's, get some groceries because I barely have any groceries here in my house and I want to start eating a little bit healthier. I've honestly just been trying to get myself to eat in general, but eating healthier is obviously the goal. So we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and see if we can find like some good healthy finds there. And I wanna go before it gets too busy because it's 10.30 now. So I feel like the morning time is the best time to go. But all I've done so far today is literally wake up, take a shower, do my skincare and put on this t-shirt. So I haven't really done too much so far for the day. And I wanted to thank today's video sponsor, which is Ritual. I actually posted about them probably about a month ago on my Instagram story that I've been taking their Symbiotic Plus. So the Symbiotic Plus is a prebiotic, a probiotic and a postbiotic all in one. You only have to take one capsule every day. I love Ritual's vitamins because they have like this very minty smell to them. They just smell really good. A little added fun fact. If you can see, this is what the daily capsules look like. Super easy to take. Ritual makes it really easy to get everything all in one. You know, you don't have to worry about taking a prebiotic, a probiotic, and a postbiotic. Like, you can just take them all in this one capsule. It's just foolproof. You don't really have to think about it. So this three-in-one supplement is designed to support gut, digestive, and immune health all in one. And each one of these sleek little bottles has 30 capsules in it, so it lasts you for 30 days. I've been taking them, like I said, for the last month and a half or so, and I've been noticing such good results with my gut. I honestly didn't even realize that I had like any gut issues to begin with, but once you start actively working on it, you realize how much worse it was before than it is now. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's just been making me feel so much lighter in a way. So I've really been liking that. I need to go get some water because I need water to take my pills. Of course it's empty. I'm having a terrible morning. I also didn't refill the Brita, so there's not that much water to pour in here. Okay, I'm back. I have my water. So I personally like to take my ritual first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Honestly, just because it's the time that I remember to take it most. It's just easy. Like first thing in the morning, you develop a habit of it. So here goes nothing. If you guys are interested in trying out Rituals Symbiotic Plus for yourselves, I actually have a discount code and that's gonna give you 20% off your first month. So definitely check out the link in the description box if you guys are interested. It will take you directly to Ritual's site and you can get the Symbiotic Plus for yourselves. Taking care of your gut is so important and it's something that you definitely don't wanna overlook in 2023. So definitely check out the link in the description box and thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of the video now that i've done that i'm gonna drink some more water and i think i'm gonna blow dry my hair because it's really bugging me and i haven't blow dried my hair in a long time so i feel like it'll make me feel a little bit better so i'm gonna do that and then i'll touch base with you guys in a little bit it is actually like a week later who is that sad girl in those clips i popped the celsius because we were about to head down to the gym i'm having a mixed berry one today celsius sent me um, sorry if you can hear my dryer, but Celsius sent me a bunch of their energy drinks. They sent me lemon lime and mixed berry. I've never had a lemon lime before and I've really been liking that one, but mixed berry is like a classic. I'm actually having my ritual right now because I forgot to take it this morning, but who was that girl at the beginning of this video? That was like a week ago. I'm feeling a lot better today. I think when I focus on myself and I focus on my work and like getting things done, damn, my dryer's loud. 
when I focus on getting things done, I feel night and day different. For all, I'm just feeling a lot better. Drinking my Celsius, about to go down to the gym. I'm gonna run and then get a workout in. I need to make sure I put my watch on. I cannot forget it again, because I always forget it, and then I get so mad at myself. I have my gym bag here. This is from Target. I do want to show you guys my sports bra. Um, hopefully this isn't too revealing, but I'm wearing the leggings that I always wear. The Tom Tiger leggings from Amazon. And hopefully nothing's popping out, but this sports bra I just recently got from Crop Shop Boutique. I'm going to have to show you guys. I just washed them, so they're still a little bit wet, but I also got another sports bra and leggings from Crop Shop Boutique. That's where this sports bra is from. Hopefully it's in focus. How cute is this sports bra. I don't know if I'm doing it justice, but I'm gonna insert like a picture of what it looks like on the site as well. I tell you, Crop Shop Boutique is my new favorite activewear brands. Like, I am obsessed. The quality is so good. It feels like Lululemon. It's super buttery and soft, and it doesn't like, their leggings don't make you feel like constricted and like a sausage. Like, you just feel comfortable. I'm obsessed. So Crop Shop Boutique is going to be where like I get all of my workout clothes from now on, I feel like, because I can't get enough. I literally want to place another order maybe tonight or tomorrow because it's so good and the prices are honestly really decent as well. I feel like I used to be turned off by the name Crop Shop Boutique. I was like, what is that? That kind of sounds like a, like a, I don't know, it just doesn't sound like a very nice brand. I'm just being a hater right now, but I don't really like the name that much, but honestly their products are so cute and so worth it. Why am I choosing to just yell over my laundry right now? I'm trying to get a workout in. I'm trying to prioritize protein again because I was looking at myself in the mirror and I feel like my butt has like disappeared. Like she's gone. She just, she left, okay? She left the chat. So I'm really trying to prioritize my protein for the next couple months. Summer is gonna be here before we know it. I cannot be out here all summer without a booty. So I really need to prioritize my protein, weightlifting, just prioritize myself in general, okay? And I'm excited. I'm excited for the first time in a long time, you guys. I feel like I'm getting my life back. Whew, this Celsius is already hitting. Clearly I have, I have this whole new outlook on the world right now, but Let's go work out, and then when I get home, I'm so excited too because I have all the ingredients. I'm gonna make a shrimp rice bowl. So like rice, shrimp, peppers, onion, avocado, lime, other stuff that I come up with. I don't know, it's gonna be really good. Everyone, there is nobody in the gym right now, but I'm whispering because it echoes in here, and I don't know why there's music playing right now, like actual music, and normally it's just like um, elevator music, but I don't know how somebody got music to play or if the front office did that, but I don't like it. Um, I just did my CT5K week one, day two. I have restarted this program about 10 trillion times, but I just, I just always get to like week six or seven and then stuff comes up and I don't do the rest of my workouts, but I'm gonna finish it this time. Did you guys know a little fun fact? I saw somebody post this and I didn't believe it, so I looked it up myself. Spring is in 28 days. Does that not blow your minds? Like it's literally gonna be spring in 28 days. Like it's almost here, which is exciting because obviously it's gonna be like nicer weather and stuff. Oh my God, winter is almost over and I gotta get right. I got to get right, okay? This is the summer that I'm gonna feel confident, okay? So I'm starting, now that I did C25K, I try and get that over with in the beginning because I know that if I wait until the end of my workout, I will just leave without doing it. So I did that and now I'm on to my co-pilot workout. So this one is leg day one since it's Monday. See what the description says. Kick some booty and have some fun. Supersets today are in, in a big ladder set in between. You got this. Wait, do I need a ladder machine? No, okay, no, I don't think I need I don't know what she means by a big ladder set in between, maybe just like a big set. You guys will be hearing more about my co-pilot journey and my workouts with them coming up very soon in March. I love co-pilot. It's been really nice having like a set workout routine that I work on with my trainer and talk to her about like every single day and tell her like what's working and what's not. It's been really good. It's just good having somebody else that you need to check in with. It's kind of like an accountability partner, but like way more than that, obviously. Through my 
watch because it tracks my heart rate and kind of like movements too so my trainer knows when I'm moving. I start off with 10 minutes of either the Stairmaster or walking incline. I think I'm gonna do walking incline since I did just run for a little bit. So I want something a little bit like low intensity, but still like burning calories and getting my heart rate up. I'll start off with that and then I'll probably show you guys a little bit of the workout, but not too much because I want to keep most of it for my next video, if you know what I mean. show you guys what the workouts look like so in four seconds i have to do staggered Sorry. romanian deadlifts i'm gonna pause it for one second but you can see it shows you exactly how to do it my trainer's voice is the one that's guiding me and then down here it says like 175 is my heart rate right now and i've burned 229 calories so far 231 now wow that's really good for like how far into the workout we are sorry about the echo and my heavy breathing i don't know why today is just killing me. I've been trying to get my watch and camera to like focus together at the same time. It's impossible. Okay, you can kind of see now, 658 calories for the day. Not too bad. My legs are on fire. I need to remember to take my, whatever this is called, little ankle strap thing because I am known to leave this here. Miraculously, nobody ever steals it, but this is from Amazon, I got this so long ago. It's like a little attachment if you're doing um, cable kickbacks or abductions or whatever. It's by the Fit Girl brands. I got this literally like three or four years ago, but there are a ton of other brands, I'm sure, on Amazon that are just as good. It's very simple, but it's so much better than using like one of these because these just don't feel good around your foot. So like this just straps onto your ankle and it makes things a lot easier oh my god i'm seeing stars right now i am so tired that workout was so good it was a new workout because we started like a new set of stuff let me bring my bag over here to like pack up oh, my keys don't want to forget those oh my goodness my hair has seen better days like do you guys see this right now i can't wait to wash it but yeah, it was like a new, we're doing a new um, cycle of workouts. So that was the first one, leg day, first leg day of the week. I do two. I took a breather for a couple minutes after I finished because I am sweaty, okay? I am dead. I need to put my sneakers back on. The reason why I work out barefoot, in case you're wondering, is because since I did a run, I wore these shoes, which I need to get... A new pair of these because a kitten of mine that i was fostering like chewed on the laces and they are like all messed up and it's not just like the laces it's like the whole shoe is like broken so i need to order new ones of these i also got them dirty because i wore them a lot in the summer outside walking why i took these off when i worked out is because um i run in these because these are a running shoe but 
I don't like to lift in them because they're not flat on the bottom. Ideally, I would take my lifting shoes with me, but I'm too lazy for that. When you just have a workout that kind of makes you feel alive again, that was me just now. I'm like, wow, I am obsessed with the gym again. The endorphins of a good workout really just have you feeling like you're on cloud nine. Like I feel like the best I've ever felt ever. Like the motivation to work out literally comes after the workout. It's like after you're done working out, you're like, oh my God, that was like the best thing for me. That was the best thing I could have ever done. But when you, before the workout, it's the last thing you want to do, but then you go and do it. And afterwards you just feel like on this high of life. And I feel like once I work out and get a good workout in, I'm like, I need to be in here every day and I need to be eating healthy. I need to hit my protein. I need to be drinking my water. I need to be taking my supplements. Like it's crazy how just one workout really sets the tone for the week. Oh my God, I'm so happy I came. <laughs> I feel so good. I can't wait to get home, shower, make myself a healthy dinner and just enjoy life. Like I feel so good. Plus it also just cleared my mind. Like I felt like I had so much on my mind before I came down here. I wasn't like super sad, but just like in my head about some stuff that I couldn't stop thinking about. And now that I just have my workout, I'm like, what was I even worrying about? Like. I feel like a brand new person. <laughs> so if you're looking for a sign to go get a workout in, this is it. Even if it's just for like 10 minutes, like tell yourself you're just gonna go down for 10 minutes and I guarantee you, you will stay for like a full hour because you're gonna start feeling so good once you start. For me, at least that's the way it is. Like once I start, I mean, some days I do have off days, but for the most part, once I start, I just feel incredible and I never wanna stop. I'm just feeling so good and 661 calories for the day, 94 minutes of exercise. I never close all my rings. Um, I never close the standing one. Cause why is it so high? Why is my standing goal 12 hours a day? Wait, why is it 12 hours a day? That's a little ridiculous, right? That's half of the entire day. That would be like me standing up the entire time that I'm awake. No, I'm not awake for only 12 hours a day, but still that would be me standing for like 80% of the day. Is that right? What should my standing goal be because that 12 hours is just not realistic especially when i'm on the computer like all day long i feel so good i'm in the best mood ever i am so excited it's time for a little shrimp bowl shrimp rice bowl it's gonna be so good and relatively easy so i'm gonna go through all the ingredients with you guys and then just get started really all we have to cook is the shrimp and then heat up some of this corn and then everything else is just like chopping it up so it should be really easy I am so hungry right now, so we need to get started. This rice, literally I don't think I'll ever like make rice myself again unless I'm like really feeling like being a chef because it tastes so good and it's so easy. Microwave it for three minutes, it's like two servings, so I just leave the other half in the fridge. I'm obsessed. Trader Joe's, I've tried their brown rice, that's microwavable, but I don't like it as much. The jasmine rice is where it's at. We have some shrimp right here, I need to look up how what the serving size is of shrimp for how many pieces I'm gonna do. I don't really know yet, so TBD on that, you guys will see. As for produce, we have red onion we're gonna chop up, some tomato, I might put those together. What else goes into pico besides like that cilantro? What am I forgetting? I don't know, I might, I think I'm gonna add these two together and add lime juice to it to make like a wannabe pico. And then uh, avocado, this avocado is, it's on its last leg so hopefully it's still good enough to use as for a dressing on top i'm gonna mix mayo and the green dragon sauce from trader joe's i know it sounds weird preferably i would do greek yogurt plain greek yogurt and the dragon sauce but i don't have any so mayo is fine this is mayo with avocado oil and it's really good as for the seasonings for the shrimp i'm gonna do chili flakes salt pepper paprika and cumin and then finally since I have these things I might as well add them we have a little bit of romaine lettuce so I'll use some of that and some Mexican style street corn basically just corn but this has like a chipotle seasoning to it it's like wannabe street corn okay so I'm gonna use some of that up and it's gonna be so good just have to season the shrimp first but shrimp cooks super fast so maybe I should start with the produce I'll start with the produce then
All right, this was actually so easy, and I'm so excited to eat this. Everything looks so good. The only sad part is I barely had any good avocado. I went through two avocados, and you can see there's a lot of brown parts, but I'm going to eat it anyways because I really wanted avocado with this, and I'm so sad that I waited too long to use mine because they were just like a day too old, but I'm still going to eat it. We have the pico minus the cilantro, so there's red onion and tomato, the street corn, rice on the bottom, the green goddess plus mayo mixed dressing, bunch of shrimp over here, then some romaine lettuce. Topped it all with a little bit more fresh lime juice. Look at how good this looks. Literally so easy too, because like I said, shrimp cooks so fast. So if you're looking for something really easy and you like seafood, try this out. I'm gonna eat this within like five minutes. I am so hungry and it just smells incredible. day I've been drinking my coffee and I was planning on filming some more for this video because I was just editing it it's about 24 minutes long but things have taken a turn I was making my coffee and my cat was on the counter and I was like oh peach like get off and I picked her up like really gently and she screamed so loud it like scared me and I don't know what it is but I called my vet and I'm gonna have to take her in because like something in her stomach it feels like a bone is literally like sticking out of her stomach like I don't know what it is but she won't let me touch it she's clearly in a lot of pain and she's like normally a very timid cat like normally she doesn't make a peep so when she screamed like that like I knew something was so wrong so I'm really like nervous for her and I just want to go take her to the vet and get her taken care of and have them figure out what the heck is wrong with her like what happens because like i said she's really timid so i'm i'm hoping that this isn't something that like i didn't notice was wrong with her for a long time because she's never normally on the counter or anything like she's normally not i never normally have to pick her up she cuddles me all the time but i don't normally have to pick her up so i'm hoping that like this was something that just happened and it's not something that i didn't realize was going on for a long time so i'm planning to take her in to the vet and get that figured out but that's why i have to cut off this vlog short i did have a lot more that i wanted to vlog today but i'm gonna have to put that in another vlog because i do want to post this one today um the dinner from last night i will say was incredible and it's so funny i never normally cook shrimp but now that i made that last night i've seen like three instagram reels this morning of girls making recipes with shrimp like some shrimp tacos if you guys hear my other cat out there she likes to yell that is not the one that's in pain that is just an annoying one i swear i thought i would touch base quickly with you guys about my goals and like where i'm at body wise because things have changed about my body a lot recently i feel like i'm going through a lot of changes just in my life in general and my body is one of those things that has been changing so um yeah basically i'll give you guys a breakdown i'm five foot five um in like august september i was at like my heaviest um it just felt like no matter what I did, no matter what I tried, no matter how I exercised, what I ate, I just couldn't stop gaining weight. Um, I was like the heaviest. I Like I said, I was the heaviest I've ever been. I was just like so insecure and I felt so uncomfortable in my own body. Um, and then I went through a breakup and obviously like, you know, I was sad. So I wasn't eating as much. Like my appetite just wasn't where it should have been. But at the same time, I think a lot of the reason why I lost weight because since I wasn't in a relationship anymore, it's not like I was going out on dates. I wasn't really drinking as much. Like, I don't really drink much at all anymore. And I don't really go out to restaurants unless it's like a special occasion, maybe once or twice a month. Versus when I was in a relationship, it was like at least once a week. Sometimes two, three, even four times a week, like over the summer. Like, we would just go out all the time. So now that I'm not doing that anymore, it's like without even trying, I lost a little bit of weight. I think I'm down now about i'm trying to think of what i weighed this morning probably like a little over 20 pounds i don't really think i look that different like i don't know i keep looking at myself and i'm like i don't really feel that different but like i'm a different size in clothes and you know i am clearly like 
I lost weight, but I don't really feel much of a change. And I think that's because I'm not really like focusing on my protein intake and muscle retention. Like I really want to make sure that I am taking the best care of myself, not just like the scale going down. Like I want to be the healthiest version of myself, especially for summer. Like I just want to feel confidence so i'm really focusing um i want this is where i'm getting at as i want to talk about goals with you guys i'm focusing on prioritizing protein that is number one i'm trying to get at least 100 grams of protein in a day i feel like that's doable for me and not like overkill so 100 grams of protein i'm trying to get as much sleep as possible i'm trying to work out at least five times a week what i saw yesterday i don't want to work out just for like results like i want to work out because it makes me feel so much better and it really does get me out of my head because i'm somebody who's an overthinker and if i don't work out i'm realizing i kind of just sulk but once i get a workout in i have like this newfound energy to just do more with my life so i'm focusing a lot on that definitely a lot of running i want to get back into running long distance and also just strength training with my trainer sticking to the program sticking to what i need to do in order to see results i do feel a lot better than i did like back over the summer but i just want to get to an even better point and then something else i wanted to mention before i go um this book I'm obsessed. I think everybody should read this. I'm only like maybe like one third or one fourth of the way through, but it's amazing. I got it at Target. It's called Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before by Dr. Julie Smith. I took the little um, original cover off, but it's white with like black writing on it. It's so good. This book has so many gems in it, you guys, and I feel like I just feel at peace when I'm reading it. There's a ton of different chapters. I'm just going to go over what each of the sections are the first one is on dark places on motivation on emotional pain that's the chapter i'm on right now on grief on self-doubt on fear on stress and the last one is on a meaningful life so it's all about like different things that you know you go through and things that you're trying to find a way to cope with and it's been really helping me if you're going through a breakup or even just like a hard time in life definitely check out this book because I've been liking it so much and it's probably my favorite um, self-help book that I've read so far this year. And I've read a lot. I think this is my seventh one. I'm not even close to done with it and I think it's already my favorite. So definitely check this out. I'll leave the name of it in the description box in case you guys forget. I'm going to go though because I want to upload this video and then go focus on my cats and make sure that she is okay. Because I'm really worried about her. She's taking a nap right now but I'm just like... I need to go make sure that she's okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's fitness vlog. Nonetheless, talking about motivation, future goals, made a really yummy dinner. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video as well. Definitely check out the link in the description box if you guys want to check out Ritual for yourselves. I'm obsessed. I've been taking it for going on three months now and I love them. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video very soon.